Hi y'all, Kraken Latte here. It's that time again where I bring you my tips, facts, or experience that you may or may not find helpful. Racial abilities are something that don't get talked about much these days, since the benefits they offer are very small in most cases. There are exceptions, of course, and some of those exceptions are the racials that affect professions. With professions getting attention in Dragonflight, let's look at what bonuses, if any, each race has. First up, we have Draenei. Regular old Draenei. They have the gem cutting racial passive, which seems to increase their jewel crafting skill by 10. Next, we have dwarves, little adorable dwarves, and they have the explorer passive, which is for archaeology. You find additional fragments when doing archaeology, and you can survey faster. So that's pretty cool, and it fits right in line with their lore, I'd say. Now we have gnomes! Little itty bitty gnomes, and to no one's surprise, they have the engineering specialization passive, which increases their engineering skill by 15. Again, <laughs> to be expected, right? Now we have the Pandaren, and they have a couple that play together. First, they have the Gourmand racial passive, which increases your cooking skill, to no one's surprise, by 15. Now to go with that, but not necessarily related to the profession, we have the Epicurean passive, which means your love of food allows you to receive 100% more stats from the well-fed effects. Again, this isn't really a profession one, but this one is, and they do play well together, in a way, because Pandaren love food. Next we have Worgen, and Worgen have the Flayer racial passive, which increases your skinning skill by 15 and allows you to skin faster. So this one is one of the more impactful ones, I would say, and would pair nicely with like a druid or something similar, a class that's fast, because they can skin really quickly and don't need any buffs like Dark Moon Firewater or whatever to increase it. They do that passively. And now we have the Dark Iron Dwarves. They have a fun one of mass production, which increases their blacksmithing skill by 5 and blacksmithing speed by 25%. Curious that this one gives the specific percentage of how much faster they can craft. So that's pretty handy. Next, we have the Lightforged Draenei, which are like Draenei, but light. <laughs> they have the Forge of Light Racial, which in addition to having a blacksmithing skill by plus 10, they also can summon a forge made of light, which will let you use as an anvil. It is not a smelter, unfortunately, but it's at least an anvil, so that's pretty cool. Next we have Kul Tirin, our big fellow friends from Kul Tiras. They have a curious passive of Jack of All Trades, which increases all profession skills by five. So that's rather generic. Interesting. Next we have Mecha Gnomes, all the little mechanical gnomes. And for them, they've got a couple of different things. We have Skeleton Pinky, which allows you to unlock chests and doors that require a skill level of up to 50. That probably changes as I get higher as this character's only 50. And they have the Mastercraft Racial Passive, which lets you, the Mecha Gnome, function as a personal blacksmithing anvil, cooking fire, and mining forge. In addition, your limbs include every profession tool, so you are a little Swiss Army knife. That's <laughs> interesting. Next, we have the Blood Elves, who, to no one's surprise, have the Arcane Affinity passive, which increases their enchanting skill by 10. Next, we have Goblins, our little green friends who have better living through chemistry, which increases their alchemy skill by 15. <laughs> I'm surprised it isn't more about exploding, but hey, you know, whatever. And now we have Taran, the race you're probably a little more familiar with because of their cultivation passive, which increases their herbalism skill by 15, and the important part, they gather herbs faster. 
without needing any enchants to let them do so. That's why you'll commonly see them as druids if they're out there gathering in the world, because you can pick herbs as a druid in flight form, and if they're a tarn, they do so quicker without needing enchants or other buffs to do so. Now we have the glorious Nightborn, and since enchanting was already taken, they have the Ancient History passive, which probably is more fitting, and this increases your inscription skill by 15. Now we have the High Mountain Taran, and as they are our mountaineer friends, they have the Pride of Ironhorn, which increases your mining skill by 15 and, more importantly, allows you to mine faster. So that's a pretty cool trait, but they have a second one as well, which is Waste Not Want Not, passive, and you have the chance to loot additional meat and fish, which means you get more from your fishing pools, and you get more meat from any animals that drop meat. The remaining races of Human, Night Elf, Void Elf, Orc, Troll, Undead, Zandalari, Maghar, and Volpera all technically don't have specific profession-related bonuses. That said, they still could have beneficial racials for them, such as using the Maghar's mount speed bonus for faster travel while gathering, or a Volpera's increased bag space and ability to create their own second hearth. You can get creative here. Class can also be a factor in all this with things like their world interaction, their movement speed, and other class-related utilities, if you're wanting to truly min-max. We've all seen those packs of Taran Druids herbing like animals. And there we have it! If you think I've missed information, or you want to request I do a specific guide, let me know in the comments below. Even if I don't answer you, I just might add your idea to my list. As always, thank you so much for watching, and remember, it's never too latte.